Hi guys. Okay. <coughs> I recently got a piece of kit from Camp Craft. And we've been talking about this. As you know, on the, uh, I use a lot of Camp Craft bags, rucksacks, haversacks, etc. I like the gear. And one of the things that kind of popped up in his inventory and in his designs is this. And I want to talk to you about it. Now, what this is is actually the flap for a rucksack, but it's been turned into something else. Now this is the flap like you get on the rucksack, okay? But what he's done is he's made it a separate piece as a pad, as a whatever. It also opens up and you can put gear in it and he's got part of a reflective, you know, like a insulated cover in there as an insulation bag. And then right in the middle, he's put a pair of tie ties so you can come up and tie this closed. Now what I see when I see this is frame inside a rucksack. Because when I pull this up and tighten it up, it's relatively stiff. And that means that whenever I set it in the rucksack, it's a pad against my back, one. Two, when I get to where I'm going, if the ground's a little nasty or whatever, and I just don't want to sit on the ground, I flip open the flap of the rucksack, I grab this and I slide it out, and I got a pad. I can sit on it just like that. Instant insulation from cold, wet ground. It's wax canvas, so it's, and it's good heavy duck canvas, so it's going to take a beating. So now I've got something that's going to protect my rear end from insects, from water, from everything else. Also, that insulation in there, I can also open this up and lay it in my hammock as a hammock pad in the summer. Because with that tie up there at the top, it'd be easy for me to hook it up on the ropes in the hammock and have this be the pad underneath me in the hammock. Since it's insulated, it's going to give me a little bit of extra insulation right here against my back. Now that's a big deal in the hammock down here in the south. Because down here, even if you've got a mosquito net, if the, if the Skeeters can get to the other side of it. They can sting you through a hammock. They're not going to sting through this. And so this gives me padding where I need it most, against my center of my back. Okay? It is wide enough, as you can see, to handle that job. It also, you can easily pack gear into the two ends, going that way and then up there that way, because the two flaps kind of underlock. So I can put a little gear here put a little gear there and then fold it in half like that and go around something. Those guys that like to do a blanket roll, you know where you just roll up the gear and a, a, a tump line type blanket roll, this would be a great thing to put on the outside of it. Now there's a historic precedence for this type of bag, I guess you want to call it. Now I don't know that they've got an actual name for it yet. If they have, I'll include it at the end of this. But back in the old buckskinning days, we used to make something out of rawhide, similar to this. It was called a par fleece. And that was out of the plains, uh, the Great Plains. And the Native Americans would make it, and it had a hole down the middle of it. And you packed gear into the two halves and then folded it in half. And that was a way of carrying things. They'd often be decorated with paintings and stuff like that. You see them in a lot of period paintings. And it was called a par fleece. Basically a saddlebag, okay? But what this gives me is it gives me a lot of versatility in a small, compact package. And with us working on rucksacks, haversacks, etc., this will become a pad in that rucksack to give me a pad that I can pull out easily to be both a more comfort in a hammock, more insulation off the ground, something I can throw on the ground and sit down on and do a project on or whatever quick and cleanly and then put back into the back of my rucksack without a big problem. It's in and out, clean and easily. With a hanging cord, I can easily hang it up to dry if it gets wet. I can also, like I said, hang it up in a hammock, be like a pillow, if nothing else. It's all kinds of uses in one quick, handy piece of gear. So if I take that and I third it, just about like that. That makes a pretty good pillow right there. In a hammock. All kinds of uses, all in one piece of gear. <coughs> now, you're going to be seeing this in the upcoming. So I wanted to go ahead and do this video to let you know. Because I, when I got it from Jason, um, 
from Camp Craft. I told him that's what I was going to be doing with it. It's going to be going in this video series because this is going to go with the rucksack. And so I'm also thinking about it being um, something to add possibly to the knapsack because it will fit, and this is my knapsack, it will just fit into the knapsack. Just like this. All the way to the bottom. It's the size of the back of the knapsack. Hardly takes up any space and there's an additional sleeping pad right there. I may have to get two. One for the knapsack and one for the rucksack. We shall see. Till next time guys. Please leave any questions or comments, and thank you very much for supporting my channel. I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.